Hey everybody, welcome to another review. This uh, week I'm going to be testing out the new Zone Alarm 2012 uh, Internet Security Suite. So I went, grabbed a copy of it. It is a huge installer. It is 225 megabytes, and it's kind of funny because I kind of surfed the website a little bit, and you know they're saying our installer is like one of the smallest, and they compare against everybody else, and they're saying like 400 and, or uh, 43 megabytes or something like that. Maybe that was the old version, not this version. So I installed it and this is what it looks like now. Definitely a lot more refined than it used to be. The old version looked truthfully like crap. It didn't look good at all. Um, so now you have these three big buttons at the top. You have some buttons up here. We have our 30 day trial left. You have tune up, tools. We'll check for an update so you can see that it's fully updated. Pull this off to the side here. So if you click on one of the buttons, you get a pop-up. There you go. And this is where you can mess with your settings. You can turn things on and off. You can actually go deeper into settings. So like uh, the firewall, you can turn it on and off using the big button. Um, if you click on settings, you can change different settings. You can even go farther into advanced settings. Um, I'm just I just leave everything like it is. So they have different zones. Um, whatever you want to block or allow through um, the different zones, you can change your settings there. You click the little back arrow here antivirus. Now I think they're still using Kaspersky if I remember right. Um, of course advanced settings here. Quick scan, scan options, scan targets, on access, quarantine, behavioral scan. I think that's their own little thing, the behavioral part there. Application control, Defense net, you know, the usual stuff. Then you can click on the internet tab, web security, anti spam, identity, and data. I'm not going to bother with that much. Um, what else here? They have tune up built into this. I don't know. I think they do. Or maybe they just want you to go and download something. Yeah, it looks like they just want you to go download something. The tune up is built in the maximum security version, I think they call it, or something. Yeah, this one they just want you to buy this. Or Extreme Security, sorry. But I, I went and got their um, Security Suite version. So, that being said, let's do some testing. You know, I still haven't checked if my cursor shows up, so we'll see. When I, take a, when I pause the video, I'll double check to see. Until then, if there's no cursor, uh, we'll deal with it. Also, let's open up task manager here. See what kind of RAM usage you got, just you know, a little overall quick overall look. So let's see here. Internet Explorer, spam filter, true vector service, and a couple of here. So you're looking what? Well, that one went down a lot, so that's good. So let's say ten to twenty five megs which isn't bad. It's overall about average with everybody else in the industry. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's try that first one there. Okay, now this is of course their basically download um, downloader that they're using so we can hit run and then it's gonna check it and it didn't find anything so you have a choice yes or no or you can do an advanced scan we'll do the advanced scan which is basically it runs the file in a um, virtualized environment and it checks to see you can see right there it'll run the file and it checks to see what the file does if it does anything malicious So apparently something happened. Okay, there you go. Found something. 
we can click for details, malicious behavior, zombie software. So we will delete the file. So it looks like that one wasn't part of the signature pack from Kaspersky, but the built-in behavior sandbox, whatever you want to call it, caught it. And I'll show you, you we'll, we'll see maybe something so you can see what it looks like. when um, the AV actually catches something. You get a big pop-up. This does tend to take a while, but most people aren't scanning files like I am all the time, so, you know, every so often, no big deal. Silently extracts executable files runs them. So it actually kind of tells you what it does, so it's kind of nice. So far it's two for two. Okay, found that one says it's just malicious software. Okay, found that one. I wonder if there's a setting where you can just automatically make it do that advanced scan. So um, for people who aren't very good with computers and I'd want it to scan all the time, do the advanced scan. There might be somewhere. I haven't. I don't know the program that well. So if it's not there, that'd be something I'd recommend for them too. Okay, so this one was blocked. That's nice. The first time I've seen this work. Um, dangerous website. You can go back. Yeah. Just then you have to download and stuff. I'm not even going to bother with those. But, that being said, looks like the signatures actually caught that. Let's see what it caught here. Yes, so it looks like the signatures part caught it. So you can see what I was talking about with that huge um, pop-up that you get when the signatures catch something. So you can easily tell the difference. Like I said, sometimes this can take a while. Okay, so it says that this is safe. Okay, that's interesting. Sure, we'll run it. And it also says that that one's safe. I like how it says it appears that this application is safe. Doesn't it doesn't say it's safe? It just says it appears. I find that kind of funny. They're kind of covering their tracks. Um, you know, 
Well, we never told you it was 100% safe. We just said it appears safe. Known spyware. Okay. I wonder if we have anything running in RAM. Results URL. There we go. We got something running there. Got that one. Got that one. And last one here. So that one is safe to run too. Well, we will run it, won't we? Uh oh, needs to reboot. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. So we'll reboot, and I shall be back. Okay, so the computer restarted here, and truthfully, I wasn't watching it when it restarted. So if it did anything, I don't know. Uh, let's see if we have anything running in memory. So that, um, whatever that was, that file there, is now gone. Wonder if um, it has some kind of, ah, yes it does, some kind of logs. Firewall, antivirus. Okay, let's see here. Delete on reboot. That multi pack thing. And it deleted an svchost.exe, which was sitting somewhere pretty. Okay, so that. Uh, program files results url.exe it allowed that one of course so we'll see what happens there okay and that torus.exe so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a scan uh, okay I didn't want to do a quick scan because I know this is a quick scan so wait let me cancel this I do a deep, a deep scan. That's kind of annoying that you have to go that far deep to inside the program to get a deep scan. It should have just selective buttons. So maybe like when you're clicking on scan now, get um, you get a little pop up that says you get to pick. Whatever. All right. So I'm gonna let this scan, and I will be back when it's done. We'll see how long it takes, and I'll see you then. Alright guys, so I got a little pop-up here, and it says um, it's detected malware that requires advanced disinfection. If run, the system will be automatically restarted after completion. Please close any open documents, and do you want to continue? Sure. So it did find that. It says, not a virus, adware. So it looks like the signatures found it, but it didn't find it while it was installing. Uh, it only found one, that a DLL. Okay, so that's fine, and it will treat it on reboot. So now we will. Uh, I'm gonna pause, and I'll be back. All right, guys. So it finished scanning here, and um, I think it's going to restart soon. But I just wanted to show you that it says treat on reboot, and then I got a little thing here that says uh, treated. So. Now it's going to reboot, and I'll be back from the reboot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a scan with um, CCleaner, and I'll be back with the results from that, because there's no need for you guys to just watch me boot up into Windows. So I'll be back with the results from CCleaner, or not CCleaner, jeez. Um, cleaning Essentials, Jesus. Um, from Cleaning Essentials. But I will run CCleaner, though. 
Alright guys, so the scan finished here. Took about an hour. Um, I've been on the phone, so. But it didn't find anything, and that's good to see. And now, um, I'm going to see if uh, Malwarebytes finds anything. And the only thing that I can assume that might have got through is those last couple of ones that were iffy. So I'm going to run Malwarebytes, and I'll be back with the results. Alright guys, so Malwarebytes finished scanning here and it says it found six things. Let's check them out. Okay, so basically they're all part of that uh, it's a possibly unwanted program, that results URL. So um, the signatures got rid of one file, that DLL, but it left over a lot of different pieces. Um, so this just goes to show you how powerful Malwarebytes is at removing all of the infections. So you can see it's got, it, it found stuff in the registry and it found some leftover files too. So uh, we're going to remove those. Oh, geez, of course. I was supposed to select them for removal, but I didn't. That's annoying that I tried to remove them, even though I didn't select them. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to do one more quick scan. I won't show you guys this, and this time I'll actually remove them. I'll actually select and remove them. And then I'll... Um, before I do that, though, I did notice something that... Let's see here real quick. Okay, so yeah, that is checked. Okay. Alright, so this time I'm going to remove them, and then I'll come back with the results from a scan of Hitman Pro. Alright, so, Hitman Pro didn't find anything. That's good to see. So, basic final result on the new zone alarm. Um, they've definitely made some improvements feels a lot lighter than the old version and really other than a potentially unwanted program which you really you know you can't consider it malware in the sense that it does damage it's just a program that you might not want on your computer it did very well and there goes my phone again so uh that's it for this review and hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll talk to everybody uh later